Hey guys, what is up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So in this video we're going to be learning how to create a kind of, kind of like a calculator unit, a unit um, for calculating stuff. Um, yes, it's basically an intro to objects. Object oriented programming is basically where you don't have to reuse, where you basically reuse code. So you don't have to type everything in one file like this. You have multiple instances like these units here. We've added. Um, you basically import it like this and then start using it. For instance, if we add the str utils unit, then we can actually access that unit str utils. We can access all of these functions and stuff inside of this unit. That's what we're going to be doing now. Okay. Let's just show an example. For instance, let's do the what's this thing called? This is LBL output one. Um, this is button one, two, three, and four, and this is n one and n two. For instance, I can output dot caption set it equals to the str utils dot. Uh, let's call dupe string of n1 and of count uh, into dot text dot st mm, string to int I means this is a basic example now it will take the dupe string function which um, multiplies a string it's this dupe string functions in the str utils unit since the unit is added here we don't have to have this we can just have it like like this also let's leave it like this then it multiplies this in one oops multiplies the in one string in one in one text um, with the integer in n2 for instance let's compile let's type in here um, shown result multiply it like five times and now that's multiplied it five times as you can see from here we can make it maybe, maybe make it ten times or two times as you can see and you can even remove this from it it will still work because this whole unit is now um, inside and used here isn't it so basically we're going to make it our own str utils unit but for using it in a calculator so this isn't objects yet because we're just going to be using a unit instead of writing functions or procedures in um, this unit we're going to be writing it in a separate unit okay so now we have our blank unit here i went to file new and i created i created a unit here you can also go to other and that files an, an unit so now we have a blank file unlike this one and under and under interface we have to declare it so function let's declare a function for adding two numbers to each other okay so function add two numbers of the it's, it's a and b it expects a double and it must return a double okay so here we have declared it i have to implement it oops under the implementation so we say function again add to numbers it wants an a and a b of type double and it must return a double for us as well okay so now we say begin end and this guy pretty pretty simple just result colon equals um a plus b okay Let's save this unit. I'm going to be saving mine as U calculator, as you can see. Okay. Now I can go here and add U calculator. And if we now go here and we say add to numbers, then it recognizes this um, function because it is inside of the U calculator unit which we made. Okay, so now we're just going to be saying here LBL output dot caption is equals to 
add two numbers and the two numbers let's make the two numbers variable in one in two of type uh, we can't use that let's say d1 and d2 of type double let's say d1 is colon equals to n1 dot text but this is now in string format so let's convert it to double uh, str to float let's do the same for the second number okay so now here it expects as you can see two double values let's give it d1 and d2 that's basically it let's compile then we see errors why do we see errors string string and double oops okay this is it gives it gives us back a double value and this is a string so i have converted so we can say dot to string which is a class helper um, if you have an old version of Delphi, you can't use the string. You'll have to use that same way we used above here. So we're going to have to say float to str. Like that. But seeing that I have a new a new version of Delphi, I'm just going to say to string. Okay. Let's compile. Okay, let's plus for instance 9 and 18 which will be 27 Boom, that works Okay, so let's quickly write the other ones Let's actually just, no, let's leave it like that Okay, I'm going to copy and pasting now This is the subtract one Let's copy and paste this also Okay, I would I would suggest that you don't copy and paste because you still have to learn this. I'm just copy and pasting to make this video a bit shorter. So you have two subtract two numbers. Let's save it and let's copy and paste this also. Okay, so now we have exactly the same thing. And now here you can say subtract two numbers and it will recognize it because it is in the U calculator unit here's our, two, here's our two functions and we give it in oops d2 d1 and d2 and we convert it to a string okay now i'm quickly going to do the same for the multiply and the, and the divide multi multi ah, multiply and divide. If you have a um, professional something, you can just press Control Shift C, and it will automatically ma automatically do the implementation for you of these. But I don't have that, so I'm using the starter edition of Delphi. Guys, okay, so multiply is just that, and divide is that. Okay, so let's implement that. copy and paste this here for the multiply instead of subtract we use the multiply function and in the divide section instead of subtract we use the divide so now each one of these has uses exactly the same for the add two numbers for the subtract two numbers for the multiply two numbers and for the divide okay so this is a way to do it it will it will work is for instance have a number such as uh, 25 point that it's not a plus there and 1111 dot that okay so we can plus that we can minus it we can multiply it and we can divide it and that will all work as you can see okay and that's basically just how to create a separate unit with some functions in it um, procedures will will work exactly the same way. You can also go and add a procedure and stuff. Yes. So before we end this video, guys, uh, John Sonmez from SimpleProgrammer.com tweeted and basically said that Delphi is not dead, and that they should, and that his followers should go and check out my channel. So thank you, John, for that. And 
Okay, I think if you've added it, I think you guys should also, should also go and check out John's channel. Uh, search for um, Simple Programmer. You can also go to simpleprogrammer.com. I'll have the link in the description. And you might even check it out somewhere on the screen. I might show it somewhere. Anyway, so thanks John for that. And thank you guys for, for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next video. Um, leave a thumbs up and subscribe if this video helped you in any way. So, bye!